look at this. Look what we did, guys. Thank you so much for those uh, who participated in the uh, the first video that I made about F2P versus Wales. I showed you guys that I was stuck at 1040. Well, I took some of your advice and kind of rejigged my team a little bit and did some trial and error. And look at this. We are now in floor 11. And let me show you guys the team we went with. So thank you for those who suggested Bomb. Um, I actually went ahead and set him up with hats and I just let RNG do its thing. For the first little while, he just kept dying. But then after repositioning him correctly a few hundred times, it worked. My entire team, as a matter of fact, survived. So it worked out super, super well. So again, I want to just thank everybody for, for giving that out. Now, let's talk about uh, floor 11. Now, a lot of folks are stuck on 11, I think 11.2. So I'm going to try, or 11.3, that are free to play that I know of at least, that are higher power than me. So I'm going to see if I can somehow boost my way through that a little quicker. Now, you guys can see here the team setup I had for, to finish 10.40. For those who want to try it, it's Bomb, Hats, Evan, um, Zahard. And then I had uh, a dark, um, sorry, data machine, right? So uh, try that, try it out and see. Now the thing is, my the, the main thing for me is Hats has got to survive. If he dies, my main DPS is gone. So like that, right there, right? And that becomes a problem. And then the rest of them just can't can't damage enough. So this team here, let's go back in here, may have to be a little revamped a, a tad bit here. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna try something else. We're gonna do this for more damage because they've got greens. And let's see if I can throw her in there because she ju I just got her. I don't know if I have any equipment. I don't have any equipment on her though. So let's see if I can if I can do this with these two. Okay, we're gonna try to throw them in. I'm gonna do a showcase for her today as well too. By the way, just so everyone's aware for uh, Horian. Um, one sec. Let's see if this works. I'm curious to see because I know she pops a shield. She boosts damage for for allies. She boosts crit for allies. And having Evan Kale here would may, might be a good thing. Now the only thing I'm, at, I'm I don't have anymore is a stall tank anymore. So that might be a huge problem. Obviously, so Evan Kale might die fairly quickly here unless I can somehow get her to live. If not, then we're gonna yeah we're gonna redo this. Hold on. Let's do something else real quick. You know what I might do instead? I'm gonna toss her in there, take her out, and put in her instead. And let's try this team out. Now I have a stall tank that everyone's going to attack and she's got a mortality. So I'm not as worried about it. Right? So let's see if we can finish this off, but thank you again, guys, for the, uh, the suggestions of bomb. I'm going to focus on getting him up a little more. Um, I was originally focusing on getting him maxed out, but, uh, priority took over with some of the other units that I was getting. So now he's kind of hit the back burner, but I might put him back up. Um, on the list of units that are must-haves for, especially for a light team. There we go. We're gonna get a little recovery. There's special, good. Hats hopefully recover some HP from his crits. Nope, he died, okay, that's fine. Ooh, this is tough. That was not easy. Okay, 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 okay. Let's try it again. I feel like there was just a little bit of bad luck there. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna do a little swapping of positions. Let's try this. Let's try this and see if this helps. So I'm I'm happy to say that uh, with a little bit of strategy, uh, 1040 is doable at uh, what is it 400? I think I did 400k. So you can definitely do it, guys. Uh, just play around with RNG positioning and everything. You guys should hopefully be able to get it done. I think Kel's gonna die again. Okay, hold on, guys. Let me reposition this one more time. Let's do hats here. Actually, these guys have more damage on that side. Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna try that out. Again, this is part of the game, right? Positioning plays such a major role in this. Like you have to play around with it and figure out what works best for you. Like every battle is different. Like see, they're going after her, which is the purpose. Now she's going down quick, but that's okay. She's got a mortality, so not too worried about that. Evan has gotta do her special. That's that's the main thing. There we go. Good. Evan's gotta pull his off as well. Or else Mashini's gonna die. I hate when they do their actives and everything gets stalled because it absolutely is, drives me bonkers. These guys have a lot of HP, man. Yeah, these guys have a lot of HP. I mean, definitely doable though. Look at this, not, not much health left. Let's try something else. I mean, yeah, it's only double the double. It's not even that bad. So it should definitely be doable. Let's try. Let's do this again, and we're gonna try this setup here. See if that as a heart can uh, can hold a little bit of the damage, and then do some da some AOE himself.
He doesn't live quite as long as Machini does, so I do need to get Evan to hurry the hell up and get going before he dies. He also has invincibility though when he does this, so that's good. There we go. I think that'll be a little bit more damage because at least it's a mass AoE. Yeah, this is much better. Much better results here. There we go. There we go, guys. Little trial and error, right? Like I said, moving around some units, swapping things around. So we got that done. 11-2. So let's see what we have here, 11-2. Uh, tank, assassin, assassin. Okay, we might be okay here with the same positioning. Let's see if this works out. Let's see if this works, guys. So again, everyone's going after that as a hard. That's the point. Evan's getting a little bit hit. Oh, he got hit too hard there in the middle. If Evan dies, it's pretty much a bust of a run because I don't have my immortality now, which a lot of which a lot of the strategy, to be honest, works around. Yeah, see. Okay, so I got a better idea here for this one. Let's put Azahard in the front. Um, I'm actually gonna take Bomb out of this one. I'm gonna put in her for immortality again. Now let's let's do the swap again. So now I have. Two immortal immortality tanks. Um, well, I guess yeah. Two two stall tanks. One immortality with Evan. Immortality and AOE with um, with Evan Kale, and I have uh, AOE with with uh, with Hats being damaged. Okay, so let's see if the hell this how this goes. Oh, Hats died already. Oh, and Evan died. Okay, let's restart that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we got to switch up these two spots here. And actually, we're gonna switch these guys here as well. Let's try this now. And they have more dark units, so adding an extra light bomb would have been smarter, actually, maybe just because of the extra extra light damage that I get from there, but we'll see if this, this stall tanking tactic works better. Dying again. Hats is dead. Okay. Not the end of the world if Hats dies right away. Like, my Hats is not that good anyway, so not that bad. Okay, there's some good damage there. The Masuni needs to pull off her AoE to do some more damage. Oh, she died. That's brutal. Oh, that's brutal. Okay, so let's try bomb back in here again. Um, hmm. So like taking him out. No, actually, no. Like keeping him in. Putting bomb in here. Yeah, let's see if this goes. Let's see if this works. Okay, so Hats is getting hit up again. I think I'm gonna have to switch Hats up. My light units are dead already. Brian, I don't think it's gonna work. No, it's done. Okay, we're gonna try something else now. Take her out, Rowan, Wangnan. Switch these two up. Hats needs to get switched here let's see if this works so this way long Nong can do immortality at least and take the hit and die uh, revive sorry you can at least revive <clears throat> again so this is how this game really pretty much goes it's all trial and error right you got to figure out formations positioning character skills what works best with what etc right like this is already working a little better you can tell if hats can stay alive we're golden but at least now this time i have a couple more units there you go look like it's working much better already Bomb dying sucks, clearly, but we have Hats still alive, and everyone else is almost dead. Let's see if I can hopefully use Hats as alt here. There we go. Oh, still. Much better, though. Much, much, much better. So Bomb can survive. We're in a good spot. So now I'm wondering if this is the better of the two choices here. See if this goes. A 
I'm hoping that positioning for bomb is better. Survive. Just survive. Ah, oh, they both died. That's brutal. Bomb lived though, so that's good. Yeah, it won't be enough. Okay, we're gonna reset this and try one more time. And then we're gonna keep doing this. Like this is gonna be the ebb and flow, guys. We're gonna keep trying. We're gonna keep trying. See where we end up here. Okay, come on. Oh, bomb died this time. So that's that's a bust again. Can't believe it. All right, guys. So that there you go. I mean, we're gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep playing around with this more. Uh, I mean, this is by far not a bad deficit in in damage at all. Uh, so I think this is very doable. Um, it's just a matter of again, just figuring out positioning. Uh, units are fine, so we're not, I mean, I'm lacking gear. I've got green gear still on some of my units, so I've definitely got to fix that up. But outside of that, I think everything else is looking pretty good. I've been really focusing on my SSR pluses. I think I'm going to refocus a lot of that into my S SSRs and then dupe them up. But let's see if this little position change will help, okay? Before we do anything else. Bomb, bomb getting hit hard, man, again. Okay, look, there we go. We got a mortality off, so that's good. If we can get some... Some extra specials here. That's like we're prime time targets for Yuri and Kun over there. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Okay. So I think I think here I'm gonna have to play around with this some more. All right, guys, well, there you guys have it. At least we got 1040 done. So again, thank you so much for your suggestions. Uh, gonna try out some other things here. I'm gonna try using Evan Kale again and try to get up um, Horian here as well too and see if I can get a red team in because they've got quite a few uh, greens in here. So that might actually help out quite a bit by getting those out of the way uh, and putting them into the lineup. And hopefully that should be enough to get it done. Um, I'm gonna just keep playing with this and I'll update you guys next time we talk on the next video. All right, guys, Payne, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.